Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Erin and I have my deck of cards, which means that we are doing an update for Deck of Panning. So this is the final update before the finale in December. And I just have to say that I've had so much fun with this project so far this year. So if you are just tuning in, please check out my playlist, check out Emily and Max created and host this project and I have her link down below so check out her video, check out her channel, check out the hashtag that I have down there because so many people are doing this project. You could watch updates for days but basically we have a deck of cards, we have a game board, we draw cards, we have prompts, we picked items out of our collection and then we work on them. So I have, I didn't even count but I think we have four or five rollouts for today. Let me scroll down and we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five rollouts today. So we are gonna be drawing five new cards and I am super thrilled. I have not looked at the game board yet, but let me go ahead and we'll go over the items that I can roll out. So my picks for last month were very palette heavy. And so I have been rolling a no pan left behind challenge into my prompts every month. And last month I ended up drawing three different cards that correlated to palettes. So let me just go ahead and what did I end up rolling out first? Let me do that. So the first thing that I was able to hit goal on, it was for a, a three of hearts, which was a largest category, which is my eyeshadow palettes. And so I drew in my two newest palettes and I wanted to do a the no pan left behind on these. I'll pop my graphic up just to show that I used the rest of the shades in here that I had not dipped into yet. Um, but if we are not familiar, then this is the color story on the Yucca palette, and then this is the color story on the I Need a Nude. And basically, these were my two newest palettes, so I did want to be able to touch every shade in these, and I was able to accomplish that. So that is my first card rolling out. So the next prompt slash card that I was able to roll out, so I will address this. If you hear squeaky noises, I'll try to stop him and I will introduce you to him at the end of the video, but we have a new member of the family. So let me go take the squeaky toy away from him so that I can record without the squeaking in the background and I'll make sure to introduce you to our new little guy as well. So a couple videos ago, I did talk about my dogs and I talked about how um, my husband and I were thinking about getting another one. And so last weekend, we got this guy. And if, if you're thinking to yourself, he looks huge, it's because he is huge. I made him drop his toy. But so let me hold him up again. This, oh, without knocking over all of my equipment, he is so big. And so he is extremely hard to manage, but this is Mr. Washburn. Um, and so I explained before that all of my dogs are named after characters from the uh, show Firefly that was popular on Fox years ago. And so this is Mr. Wash and he is, he is, he is a baby. He is a baby. So Wash is, oh, let me put him down. He is so heavy, but he is 10 weeks old and already that big with his razor teeth. And I am alone this weekend. My husband is traveling. And so I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to take care of a puppy by myself a week after we get him. But like I said, I'm going to have to take the squeaky toy away from him. All right, I took away this squeaky toy for now. And I don't even know where I was. I'm pretty sure my camera angle has changed because the dogs knocked into my tripod, which I quickly reached out for so that my camera did not hit the ground. So again, I don't know what I was thinking watching a 
10 week old puppy by myself while my husband went out of town for four days. But he is here, he is getting along smashingly with the other dogs. They are loving playing and spending time out in the yard since the weather is cooling down a little bit. But that's the puppy update back to Deck of Panning. So the next card and prompt that I was able to roll out was for the Eight of Hearts. That was for a duochrome or multi-chrome product. I picked another one of my Natasha Denona palettes. This is the My Dream palette. And there is at least one multi-chrome in here. I thought there was a few others, but I don't see a huge shift on any of the other shades in here. But I did go ahead and I used this one two times, which is the true multi-chrome. And then this one here, this one here, and this one here, I used those an additional time too, just because they're a little bit of, they have like a, maybe a glitter shift in them more than an actual like shade shift. But I was able to complete the no pan left behind on this palette and use those shades an additional time as well. So we are rolling out the Natasha Denona My Dream palette as one of our prompts as well. The next item that I am able to roll out is a finished product. So this one was for a three of clubs and it was a pick your space. So I ended up selecting the space for fragrance and I drew in my Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar Travel Size. And as you guys can see, this is completely done. And I apologize if this video seems a little choppy, I am constantly having to like navigate dogs walking around my equipment. The puppy found another squeaky toy. And so I've had to pop up and down many times, but I originally started tracking this at the beginning of October. It was on my list to go ahead and use up by the end of the year anyway. So that was October 1st, but by the time I rolled it in for this project, it was down here and I did finish up the rest of it. Basically, I focused on this being the only fragrance that I wore for the rest of the month, and so it was not difficult to get this rolled out. So this is an empty for this project. And then the next prompt and card that I was able to use was the Eight of Diamonds, which was for Metallic. And I, I ended up picking out the Odin's Eye and Angelica Trick or Treat palette because the shimmers in here are just gorgeous. So, and I had asked you guys if, of course I was going to do no pan left behind style on this, but I asked you guys, do I need to use the shimmers twice? And everybody in the comments, which thank you for ringing in your vote, everyone in the comments said use them twice. And so you guys spoke. So that was my goal. So just yesterday I used the final shade, which was this orange one. I used that one for the second time yesterday. So I was able to complete the prompt and the goal on this palette as well. This is gorgeous. The only shade I don't like is Mummy's Curse, which is this one right up here. That's the only shade in this palette that I don't like. Everything else is flipping gorgeous. And really the blue down here, which you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know my stance on blue. I don't typically wear blue eyeshadow a whole lot, but that blue, if you have this palette, take that blue and like layer it over just about anything. And it transforms the color and the shade into something sparkly and glittery and beautiful. So if you are kind of stuck on how to use that icy blue, just tap it over any other look and any other shadow and tell me what you think about it. The last prompt that we are going to be able to roll out was the Five of Clubs, which was astrology sign. And I ended up rolling in three of my Urban Decay liners. I am in earth sign, so these are very earthy type colors. So I had alkaline, stash, and overdrive. And actually, I had to use overdrive one more time and I totally forgot about that when doing my look today. So I did this very pinky look. And so I did pop this in my waterline and also my tight line. So if you're seeing a tiny bit of blue popping in there, it's because of this shade. So I did actually get six or seven uses on stash and alkaline. I was really enjoying using these. And then I finally got my fifth use on overdrive today. So 
these get to roll out as well. So those are our five rollouts and I do have one progress product and it's going to be in here for the end of the year. And I rolled this one in, what, three or four updates ago, but it was for the five of spades, which was a bronzer. And I do have this repressed in my number seven compact. It's very reflective. So I'm trying not to blind you guys. So this here is my Franken bronzer. So this is my last Franken bronzer that hopefully I'll be able to use up by the end of the year. This is an elf bronzer and an hourglass highlighter mixed together. So I finally used up my other Franken bronzer at the end of October, so I was able to get, where's my panning journal? Let me grab this. So, so far since I've rolled this into the project, I've only had 15 uses on it. And let's see, 13 of those were in November. <laughs> so that will that will tell you the type of progress that I'm probably going to have on this. But I did end up using up 0.74 grams of this. This is very hard pressed and so this is actually going a lot slower than typical bronzers go for me. So I'm concerned about being able to use this up by the end of the year, but I do like the tone. I like the product. It is no trouble for me to use this every day. So I will just keep plugging away at this one and we will see if I can use that up by the end of the year. But we are now to the point where we are going to start rolling in new cards. So I do have my deck and we keep one joker in I'm trying to see how far. So my joker was kind of right in the middle. So we're going to shuffle and I'm going to switch over to the game board. And of course I do pop up the game board for you guys. So the face cards and the aces, they always stay the same, but the number cards are shuffled around the board every single month and oh there's a pet choice put put them to work doing something other than barking while i'm filming squeaking toys knocking over tripods i know i i love my puppers i do but sometimes i'm just like can y'all take a nap for 45 minutes so i can get this done and I swear, before I turned on the camera, everybody was sleeping. And then I start talking to a camera and everybody decides that they need to while out. So we are drawing five cards. I'm a little bit scared. And I, of course, you know, I only have one more update. So I'm not going to have anything that like I'm going to try to probably finish. I don't think there's anything else in my collection that I could finish by the end of the year. But we're going to just see what we can roll in. I always do cut the deck on camera and then we draw from the top so we have a seven of clubs seven of clubs is gifted so i know that's something that's either given to me or like a gift with purchase anything like that so we have gifted then next one off the top is the ace of hearts let me scroll over so that a red ace is add another product all right, so we got to draw six cards. Good thing we're at the end of the project. So we have the King of Hearts, which is affordable. All righty. Let's see here. We have the Eight of Hearts, which is matches eye color, which that's when I ended up rolling in all my blue eyeshadows. So I'll have to see what I want to do about that one. So Technically, we need to roll in six cards and we're only three in. So next one off the top, uh, nine of diamonds, which is a lip product. Okay, we can do that. And then next one is going to be the seven of diamonds. That is random uses. Okay. And one more. So the jack of diamonds which is a random letter generator wow we have some interesting cards this time <laughs> Whew, six products rolling in for the last update of this project so let me let me collect my thoughts <laughs> on these and figure out what I want to bring in for these 
products. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my roulette wheel. I do have the alphabet loaded in here, so we will see what my random letter is going to be. A. Okay. Okay. I also have to generate my random uses. So the prompt tells us that is basically randomize one through five and then add a zero to it and that'll be your uses. So I do have my random uses. I have one through five as options on my roulette wheel. And let me see what it gives us. Two, so I will have 20 uses on whatever the product is that I pick. All right, so I think, I think these are my picks. Again, these are some lofty goals on things that I know I'm basically going to be getting uses on things because we have one more month before the finale. But let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do the seven of spades first. So that was gifted. And this is where I'm going to do my no pan left behind prompt. So I'm going to roll in my cosmic brushes, gothic palette and my glaminatrix rich romantic. So I technically used my birthday money to purchase these in October. And so these are considered gifted in my eyes. Maybe I'm cheating, but I, I use birthday money. So technically gift. Um, I've already used a couple shades in here. I'm actually using one of the shades from the Rich Romantic palette um, tapped on top of my other shade today. That's that really sparkly <laughs> that you're getting on my list lid. It's from this palette, but I want to go ahead and do the rest of my No Pan Left Behind on these. Next prompt, I'm going to do the other eyeshadow palette one so I don't drop it. And this is going to be the Eight of Hearts, which is matches eye color. I'm going to go ahead and pull the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. Again, for the No Pan Left Behind prompt. But what I'm doing for my matches my eye color is the blues and the greens in here, I'm going to need to use them twice before I can roll this prompt out. So I've actually already used the blues in this palette during this same prompt earlier this year, but I am going to have to erase the board and go back and use the blues and the greens in this twice. This is one that like, I should have used this in the springtime, but I've put it off. So I believe these will be my Christmas, like frosty, frosty kind of chilly colors for the beginning of December. I'll use this palette, even though today I think it is 73 degrees outside. So it is not chilly here yet, but that is my roll in for the matches eye color. But let me put this down before I drop these palettes. All right, next, and again, I don't remember what order I rolled these in, but we have the seven of diamonds, which was the random uses. And I tried to think of something that I could realistically used 20 times before next update. So I am rolling in my Soul Body Bronzer and this already has tons of use in it. I've actually hit pan once, remelted it, and I've hit pan again. I have gone through, I think this is number three or four that I've gone through in the past couple years. And so I use this every day, so I know I'll be able to get 20 uses on it before our next update. So this bronzer has a goal of 20 uses. Let's do the King of Hearts next, and this is an affordable product. And so I am going to go ahead and roll in my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And this is like $3 on Amazon, but it has tons of pan on it. And... I'm trying to finish this by the end of the year. This is my touch-up powder that I use to blot, and so I'm hoping that I can possibly use this up. I was trying to think of something exciting that I would be able to get some really good progress on before next update, so this is going to be a try-to-finish goal, but that is for my affordable. And then, of course, I did get the Ace of Hearts, which was add another product. And so I'm going to be putting in the Jack of Diamonds, which is a random letter generator. We did get the letter A. So I am rolling in a ColourPop Super Shock, and this is in the shade Aster. So this is just a beautiful, look how reflective that is, my lord. So just a beautiful, it looks taupey and purple and just rose gold and shimmery, it is absolutely stunning. So I want to try to incorporate this into 
I'm going to put this up to you guys again. Give me a number between 5 and 10. It can't be 10 and it can't be 5. So 6, 7, 8, or 9. You guys tell me down below how many times you want me to use this Super Shock before next update. So you guys get to vote. Number between 5 and 10, but it can't be 5 and it can't be 10. And then my last roll in is my nine of diamonds and this is for a lip product. And I guess this technically could have gone under gifted as well, but I ended up getting a package from e.l.f. in the mail and I had not ordered anything and in there was this lip product. And so this is, what is this? It's one of their lip stains. So, and it's in Saucy Sienna. And apparently I like reached another tier on their reward system. So they sent me a free gift and this was the free gift that they sent me. So I'm not really a person that wears red lipsticks or red products. And I'm probably going to regret this because it's probably going to stain. But I mean, that is red. That is a red, red shade. And Again, am I going to regret this? Do I need to wipe this off right now? Ooh, let me wipe this off right now. It already stained. <laughs> so I guess it'll give me that nice popsicle lip. And the only kind of goal I have for this is to use it a couple times, get my feelings on it, see what I think, maybe challenge myself to use a red lip. And so, I mean, if I use it two, three, four, five times before next update. I think that will give me a good idea. And like I said, now I'm gonna have that red stain on me. But even if I use this and blot it off and have my lips stain this color, that's not so bad. So really with this lip product, again, I'm not gonna finish it. It's brand new. That is the first time I've ever swatched it. So I just wanna get some use on it, see what I think about it, and be able to kind of give my feedback on my channel about the e.l.f. lip stains. Whew. This has been, bless my dogs, but part of me wanted to just stop and refilm this entire video on another day or catch them sleeping, but I always film this video on the 18th so that I have two days to edit it and get it uploaded. So today's the 18th. I'm home alone apart from the dogs, so I figured I would get it done. So again, forgive me for anything that feels choppy. I have a baby dog that wanted to wreak havoc during the entire time I was filming. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the puppy and being introduced to him. I'm sure you guys will see him as he grows and as he starts actually walking in frame because he is already so huge. But what an exciting update where we got to roll in six things because of that ace of hearts, but I'm still very happy with doing this project. I am also very happy that Emily has said that it is coming back next year. I think this project is just so popular and so fun to roll things in. It really took me a moment to figure out what I was going to roll in, but I like the products that I have here. I feel challenged. I feel like I'm going to be able to hopefully use that powder up so I'll have some exciting updates, but we will have the finale for this project on December 20th, so I hope you guys are excited. I'll do a recap of all the products that I've been able to finish up and touch on and how many palettes I was able to hit my no can left behind goal on just in this project. I'll have all that for you guys during the finale. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm going to encourage you to do all the things. Go ahead and hit a thumbs up on this video to let me know that you're still liking this project. Drop a comment down below what cards did you pull and again tell me how many times I'm supposed to use my Super Shock. And then, of course, subscribe. I am doing project panning, conscious consumerism, beauty budgets. Um, check out a few videos ago. I'm dropping links to my spreadsheet. So if you guys are wanting to do an inventory or a project pan next year, I do have my spreadsheets that I am sharing with you guys with all of the formulas plugged in. So check those videos out if you're interested in getting your collection and your mindset about your collection together. But as always, you guys are such a beautiful community over here on my channel. I love our conversations in the comment section. So make sure to drop me a line so that we can chat about anything that's going on with you guys. 
I'm going to go make sure that the puppy didn't wreck anything else in the house, but I hope that you guys have a beautiful day and I'll catch you in my next one.